guys, Pixel right here, and today in this video, guys, we are going to be going over something very cool indeed, guys. Today, we are doing another Hand of Time custom set. I present to you guys the Fireboat Escape. So, guys, this is actually my second to last custom set for the Hands of Time wave, sadly, but I haven't been able really to think of that many things to build for the Hands of Time wave with all the custom sets and stuff like that. So I do have one more coming up, but it will be a small custom set alike in this one right here. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. Alrighty guys, so I did take the liberty to move the camera up closer and keep the fireboat uh, I, I move the fireboat and the camera closer together so you can have a better view. So yeah guys, this is the fireboat or Kai's boat. This is the fire, I meant not fire, but flame boat. Now I would call it the fireboat, although it sounds like the type of thing that, what would it, what, what would it be, like a fire department would use? Oh, that's really bright. Sorry about that guys. And focus it back, there we go. Um, but yeah. So, I don't want it to sound like a vehicle that's used in a fire department, so I'm not going to call it a fire boat, I will call it the flame boat, or at least attempt to. But yeah guys, just giving you a quick 360 turn while I explain the name, and yeah. So, first off, I use these red curvature plate, or red modified plates, and those are just at some angles, and that makes a nice little base, you can see right there on the underside, and the hole is... Not the hole, but the hull of the boat is pretty much made out of this inverted slope brick, and then we have a 2x2, two two, and we have a 1x2, and yeah, that pretty much does it for the bottom. Over here, these are actually two pieces, those are, what is it, those are 1x, one yeah, 1x1 one one cheese slope pieces in black, and then we have this black clip piece, so you know it all goes together smoothly, color scheme wise, and over here, I actually tried to make the boat, you know, kind of have... Uh, feel where the seat has padding and the padding is the tan color so that clip piece over there is tan and that 1x2 jumper piece over there is tan as well so you know just again trying to keep a consistent color scheme and you can just control the boat Kai just holds on to the two handlebars and those are in a light gray now I do have stud shooters on the what is it on the ends of these on the end of these little winglets and yeah these are really cool or i just think it's a cool action feature at the action feature but yeah guys um you just fire them off like this these are just the actuators just the gray little buttons and those just fire off like so and i am using some one by one trans orange studs right there and go and put those to the side and those can, and if the studs are loaded in there, let me go ahead, them, go ahead and load them back up. Those can, these can also be seen as headlights since they are a translucent color. But yeah, guys. And then if we go ahead and remove the handlebar, that was a rough transition. Sorry about that. And you can see that I did use a maroonish two by, uh, yeah, two by six plate right there. That's where Kai sits. Kai sits in the 2x2 two two area right there, and these can actually be two extra seats, so if we go ahead and take Nia, she can sit over here, I just have my custom Nia over here, and so then she can sit there, or yeah, the seat tends to come off, which I'm not really happy with, but yeah, now I would put plates here, but at the same time it wouldn't allow as much mobility for, you know, the minifigure and already it's kind of cramped on the boat. But yeah, you know, you can have some extra seats on the boat. I just wanted to include that feature in there because I did take a random build that I built, like, I don't remember, like, I think it was two years ago, and I just dismantled it, and then there are these hinge pieces, and I said, hey, those look like backs of seats. So, they're backs of seats. Now, over here, guys, this is a compartment and tie. You can just, you know, Walk up over here, it's like an ice box. You can hold the handle, lift the thing up, and there you go. We have our forward time blade, or my cut, or at least my custom forward time blade. But yeah, guys, so that, so, um, since all my, my custom time blades are the same 
shape and they are made of the same pieces just in different colors they can be held by this little compartment and that's just done with some few clip pieces like so just makes a like a little hinge and if you go to move that you can see there is a one by two uh what is it one by two smooth plate and that just creates a nice little soft base for our fire bow so yeah guys let's go ahead and move on to the minifigures. Alrighty guys, so the two minifigures that are included in this custom set, left to right, we have, um, not Commander Blanc, but we have a Rivet and Kai himself, the Fire Ninja, or the Red Ninja, whatever. But yeah, so I gave Rivet, or my custom familiar, this little claw weapon. Now guys, if you have not seen any of these custom characters, just go ahead and look for those videos. I'm pretty sure they're titled Hands of Time Custom Stuff. But yeah, just go ahead and flip through my Hands of Time custom set videos. You will probably see what elements the minifigures are made up of there if you cannot identify them. But yeah, guys, I did give Rivet a, a nice little claw piece. You ha this is actually a primary, you know, little hand piece right here. And then I added on this black lightsaber hilt and this red stud to make it look more like a vermilion weapon. So yeah guys, that does it for, uh, what, what's his face? That does it for Rivet, and he's got the silver shoulder pauldrons, and the dark gunmetal gray helmet from Garmadon. There, I just told you what one of the, uh, components Rivet is made of, and Kai, he comes with the forward time blade, my custom forward time blade, right there, you can see, and he also has a silver sword on the back of his scabbard. He comes with a silver katana and the full time blade as it was on the back and being stored on the back of the fire boat. And I'm going to flip it around. I don't feel the need to remove all the gear because I will do that in a later video and I've done it in other videos before. So yeah guys, that pretty much does it for the minifigures. That was pretty quick. But yeah guys, let's go ahead and wrap up the video. Anyways guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's very awesome video indeed, or at least I thought it was very awesome because, you know, custom sets are just a classical thing to do on my channel. I, I just developed, you know, like a, a habit of doing, not a habit, but it just, it seems like a classical thing to do on my channel and I just absolutely love doing these things and you guys really seem to like, uh, you know, watching it, the videos where I show off the custom sets for each Ninjago custom wave, or not custom wave, but each Ninjago season or wave, but yeah guys, that pretty much does it for today's video, and so yeah guys, please do hit that like and subscribe button down below, or not down below, but yeah, for the channel, or yeah, down below, but if you do want to see more fresh new content from my channel, then do please hit those buttons, and do leave a comment, just your overall opinion on today's video, it really helps out with the channel, but yeah guys, Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed today's very oh my gosh awesome video indeed. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Brick Filmer, signing out. Peace out, guys.